Today we're bringing you the top five ball pythons chosen by us from the Tinley Park 2024 NARBC show. Starting off at number five from ML Exotics would be these Black Pastel Hypo Desert Ghost Clowns. There's a couple of them here, both male and a female, but they practically glow. They look like they're about to give you a quest in a video game. There's so much power to unpack here, it's hard to even get started. I really think that what puts it over the edge is the Black Pastel. The Black Pastel brings it back down and brings some of that contrast in. It doesn't even look real. It looks like some noir type film here. They do not match with my perception of reality <laughs> with the surrounding environment. It's hard to even describe these because of how weird it is. And I don't mean weird in a bad way because they literally look like ghosts. Like actually, it's now been using the name Hypo for a long time, but still to this day, people call it ghosts. But now with the advent of desert ghosts, people are starting to call it by its proper name Hypo. But it is ghostly. It, it looks like a haunted ball python. And for that reason alone, these are so unbelievably cool. Next to them here, you can actually see a Hypo desert ghost clown without black pet pastel and you can kind of start to see the almost orangey look to the one with black pastel. Black pastel is a dark morph but when you can contrast dark and lights together it is very nice and that is what the black pastel brings to this. Just one simple gene makes this triple recessive which is not an easy task to get just all the more better. At number four from Brock Wagner Reptiles would be this pair of sunsets, one being a banana sunset leopard enchi, and the other being a banana sunset yellow belly fire. Every year I seem to pick a sunset of some sort, and I think the reason I do that is because I'm not inclined mostly towards sunset, except for when it's done very right, and these people do it incredibly right. And every year I do pick a sunset, I always hear from somebody all the downsides of sunset, but that's the point. These don't have them. These are bright. These are beautiful snakes. I like seeing these with banana. You can see the contrast next to his other sunsets, which are far more dark. And what I really like about this is the crazy pattern to it on top of it. This snake is going to remain on the brighter side of things as it ages. What I really like here and what banana does to serve it, besides what I already stated in lightening the snake up, is bring in these nice yellows to complement what sunset does. I feel like like layering these with Enchi, with Leopard, and in the other one's example with Yellow Belly and Fire, they are subtly different. You look at these at first glance, you might think that they're very similar, but they're not. One has a way more orangey tint, that would be the Yellow Belly Fire. Not something you might think of when you would think that Enchi should normally be an orange type snake, which is why I think I actually give the edge to that one just a little bit personally, because it's not too bright. I actually like a little bit of a darkerness to it. I also really like the pattern on both of these, but this just seems seems like a bunch of little kiss marks, almost like someone with lipstick had kissed the snake a whole bunch. The pattern, although a little more subtle right now, is very intense and crazy. It's very wavy. It's very all over the place. I like that the head stamp, because of clown, partially in that, is gone. I don't always like when a snake's head stamp is completely wiped out, but in this case, I think it serves it very well. Again, I think what really does it for me is the fact that they're able to brighten these animals while showing you a somewhat of a contrast with the pattern. Now, how will these animals animals age? I can't say. I don't think anybody's ever made these and has ever grown them up. If I had to guess, they're going to age a lot better than a normal sunset would. They're going to stay more bright. And if it does darken, the brightness factor of it currently is going to help combat that and might result in an overall very nice looking animal when it's at adult age. At number three from Chris Hernan Reptiles would be this. I say this because he doesn't know exactly what's going on here other than the fact that this thing is awesome. Chris has this listed as a super blackhead cinnamon barnhart black pastel, but he himself admits that it's difficult to know for sure what is in this. He purchased it, I believe, as a blackhead super cinnamon champagne, which would explain a lot except the fact that this animal has now bred and it's based babies you can see below it. Not a single one was champagne, which adds a lot more mystery to it. He also has reproduced two of these animals. 1.1 is what he said, which means both a male and a female. So unless those two had the champagne in it, and champagne seems to be the factor that causes this, I can't really explain what else it would be. Do I think that this has champagne in it? I think only time will tell. Sound off in the comments and let us know what you think. So Black Pastel might not have 
be what he purchased it as, but I'm assuming he spoke with the original breeder and determined that that is a possibility. He also says that it could be super cinnamon even, but who cares about all that right now? Let's just look at the animal because the animal in my opinion is way better than any panda pied I've ever seen in my life because the problem with panda pieds, other than the fact that they can become kinked when you're trying to create them, in my opinion is that they're usually very high white, which means it really lowers on that contrast. The whole point of it is that you have a lot of cool dark blacks that mix with the stark whites. And I would rather, if I had to pick one, it be all black with less white. That's exactly what we have here is a black snake that has hints of white creeping along the belly and they're like pure white. This is a very, very, very nice contrast and it has an iridescence. You can see this even in our video here. Obviously, if you have natural sunlight, that shows it off a lot, lot better. This honestly reminds me of a pick from our non ball pythons from the Tinley Park show of last year in October. And that would be a pied muserana. I really like the idea that the bottom half is a stark shiny white and the top half is a shiny iridescent black. It is half black and half white. And that's what really kills me is obviously you have that bit that creeps up near the tail that almost makes it look like it's a pied and it goes down through the face. Look at that. That's important as part of why this animal is so special. You can see this on its face. It breaks it. Its snout is partially white and it goes down almost like it's wearing a mask, like a raccoon in a way. It's super unique. The idea that the color is going to creep up on the face even. So I, I don't know <laughs> what's going on here or what this is, but I do know that it's awesome. At number two from Kittenshire Reptiles would be this yellow belly hypo puzzle that is also het for pied. This has such cool color and contrast. I'm really excited for puzzle and I think it goes very well with hypo. Yellow belly seems to go well with everything, of course, but it really ends up adding such a awesome animal and kind of similar to what I was saying before with hypo, you get that ghostly kind of appearance, but it's more than just ghostly. It glows. I'm a really big fan of the oranges that creep in. The fact that you have the oranges in between the pattern, the bright yellows, and I don't know if it's a trick of the eye because of the colors surrounding it, but the black almost gives you an almost purplish type vibe to it, like a very faint bruising that surrounds the yellow pattern on the animal. And of course what Puzzle does is it looks like little puzzle pieces are on the back of the snake. A lot of times I feel like with other genes too, it really brings up the pattern to go along the dorsal of the animal rather than the sides, which I think is really cool because most of the time when you're looking at a ball python, you're looking top down. You're looking at that dorsal. Of course, the sides are amazing and awesome, but this still has it on the sides. It just seems to be more centralized around the back of the snake now rather than on each side. So I think that that's really, really cool and super unique. I really love this pattern on the back, which seems to have a pattern within the pattern because it stretches down below and seems to come back around a large portion of the snake, but then has like a lightning bolt kicking out of it through the middle of it. Seeing things like this, this remind me of why I wanted to get into puzzle and really keeps me motivated and happy that I chose to go down that route. Before we get into our two-way tie for number one, spoiler alert, I would like to go over a couple of honorable mentions. And the first honorable mention from Bodacious Balls would be this banana cypress yellow belly spider clown. Yes, red alert, I'm picking a spider to go in our top five, although it didn't make top five. It's still an honorable mention. I understand that people don't like the spider gene and it's very controversial, but this is a cool looking animal with very light, clean sides and a very contrasting orange striping and spider webs with a bunch of little dots all along it and just enough of that cool orangeness on its head to really make it stand out. Our next honorable mention from Jersey Guy Balls would be this pastel monsoon. Monsoon is obviously nuts. It's a very, very popular gene because it brings in all sorts of little dots all over it. I've said in the past that I'm not sure where else you could go with pattern on monsoon and it's really all about color, but that's not what we're really talking about here. The reason I think this monsoon is cool is because it's paradox and it's unique. I don't know if that's recreatable. I know that monsoon brings in a lot of crazy stuff. Honestly, when I first saw 
saw this, I thought it was a pattern list. And we talked about the pattern list in a video where I discussed some of the more expensive up and coming genetics in ball pythons. But come to find out, this is just a pastel monsoon. I thought I've seen pastel monsoons and none of them looked quite like this. Obviously, we're not talking about the crazy dark browns and blacks that are coming up on the animal. I'm just talking about the look of it in general. It looks like a pattern list, like a golden snake. But it is incredibly unique and incredibly cool. And at number one would be from Canova. And again, it is a two-way tie. What you see here are a black pastel, red stripe, hurricane, yellow belly clown, and an Enchi Cypress yellow belly special spot nose clown. And these are both so awesome for different reasons. They both have a lot of contrast. One of them has had their head stamp completely wiped out and is a darker morph. The darker one in this video is the black pastel, hurricane, red stripe, yellow belly clown and it just looks like fire the orange is some of the most intense oranges that i've seen along with the black creeping they really help bring out the more light colored yellows almost like a white i love how the pattern just fades away as it goes into the head there's just so much craziness going on here and the fact that the patterns are brought together more frequently but smaller i really think does a lot for it and i'm starting to see that a lot more with these combos this almost looks like they're pompeii in a way but there's just so much going on with it but i think that if i got to be honest even though i have the tie here i have a preference for the other one which would be the cypress enchi special spot nose yellow belly clown and i really think what makes this one so good is the special i think that what brings it over the top and these subtle genes are really making a major difference but what really stands out to me on this one is that the patterning is so much more unique you're getting a more vibrant and neon type orange but there's very little of the blacks that accentuates this yellowy white creamy color that make up the pattern now normally i like the black accentuation but this makes it almost look like it's a tiger of some sort like it's got these stripes going along it they seemingly come out of nowhere so they look like holographic stickers with that being said some of the black suddenly just starts to creep in over it and does go around the, the patterning especially along the dorsal of the animal you start to see it creep in there so much much so that when you don't see it early in the snake, it honestly tricks me to think that it's paradox on top of all of the insane awesomeness that you're seeing here in this vibrant animal. They make such a great pair because they're so similar yet so different at the same time that it's difficult to even put it to words how awesome they are. It's stuff that I'm beginning to dream of as I leap forward in creating these combos myself. They're incredible and they absolutely deserve the number one spot on our top five pick this year. Hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, you can actually check out our full walkthrough from beginning to end of the entire NARBC show right here.